This past year, when the SDGs were announced, um, my company aligned its corporate social responsibility report to reflect a sustainable development goal. So if you go to msdresponsibility.com, you'll see that under each of the goals, it lists what we are trying to do to contribute. And some of it is in our core business, and some of it is in our special projects. When we add up what we contribute um, to things like our $500 million Merck for Mothers program, you know, it, it's not a trivial investment, but it's not in the billions range. However, if you add up what all the Fortune 500 or Fortune 1000 companies are doing in global health, you're talking about a pretty substantial investment. The problem is nobody sees the whole picture. We don't really know how much it is. We don't really know how it's being spent. We haven't really leveraged it, and we haven't collectively aligned it behind the SDGs. So I think if we had a better understanding of what is currently being contributed, even that in that private sector space, we might have some opportunities to really find partnerships even that would leverage it and, and give some credibility to additional investors or people who could really see the results that are emerging and say, you know, that's a pretty good place to invest and that's a company I trust and we can come together here and, and work on this collaboratively with the government or whoever are the logical partners. So I just don't want to overlook a resource or capital that's actually out there now but is probably not very well leveraged in the context of what we're trying to accomplish. What could help, what could help that, sorry? Go, Mary. No, go, Mary. No, no, no. <laughs> you uh, agree? I mean, we're, we're in the OECD, which, you know, is, is c capable of doing quite a lot of research. Um, surely that's a question that could be addressed. Um, and the private sector support for the Sustainable Development Goals could be um, addressed and quantified.